Okay, that freaked out look on my face, that's me. I come from the city, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm driving a tractor at like two miles an hour and kind of freaking out and panicking because I've never drove anything bigger than a pickup. I'll explain what I'm doing here. I'm driving the tractor on my third day all by myself. There's Zach, there's his boss cutting the corn and then we put it in there and that's what I have on my deal. I don't know if you can see that. And yeah, I'm really freaking nervous. Look at all these buttons. Okay, so for a regular person, if you don't know, I obviously didn't know, but I'm helping with corn harvest for my first time and see the corn going into my grain bin. I was paying attention to it, looking backwards from my tractor. That's me driving, by the way. But this is a big deal to me because after my husband died, I never really thought that I could do something this big of a deal on my own. It may not be a lot to some and the videos really don't do it justice, but it really is intimidating. And once you get it down, it really feels like I was on top of the world. I ended up getting remarried to a farmer and he has shown me so much about life in general just through farming. Everyone around me in this farming community just has patience with me. I'm learning a lot about discipline. I'm learning a lot about family and togetherness and uh, that corporate life sucks. It may not seem like it, but this is the reward stage of farming. You guys don't even know what it took to get here, and um, it was a lot of work, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears growing it. I live in Kansas where we don't get rain naturally at all, so we need to use sprinklers, and that is a whole nother topic that I'm gonna get into, but this has taught me hard work, family, togetherness, and discipline. And I'm just along for the ride, and they put up with me, so that's cool. Hey guys, Zach taught me how to drive a tractor with a grain cart. That's where I've been. If Zach is watching this, I am not on my phone for no reason. There are no trucks here, but I haven't taken one video since I started doing this because I'm way too nervous all the time, but I have permission because there's no one coming. Truck is full, cart is full, trucks aren't here. So it's been really nerve wracking, fun, and exciting. And it's almost over in a couple days. Okay, enjoy this video of a cute little bunny while I talk about grief. I'm not really good with advice, but grieving has completely changed my life. Look at that combine. Anyway, grief has completely changed my life. It completely turned your life upside down, especially when you lose a spouse because your way of living as you know it is completely gone. Losing that schedule and just your everyday life is very, very difficult. For the longest time, I would try to fight to like get that same exact feeling back, that same exact schedule back, and it never ever happens. My best advice is to just embrace everything new, as scary as it is and as disturbing as it is, just embrace a new journey. Don't take anything for granted, and I know you won't because once you lose somebody that close to you, you live every day differently. You appreciate things more, you appreciate every day more, and you know, harvesting corn like completely changed my life. And that is, that sounds ridiculous, but it really makes me happy that I can appreciate things like that now. Anyway, not to get deep, but I am so excited to show you guys the process of how we got to this point and the mess of a journey that it was.